In this episode, we are going to talk about ghost investigation. That's right. What all these ghost hunting teams, all these paranormal teams do when they go out to a location that they think is haunted with all their goodies, their equipment, their uh, you know gadgets and whatnot. They go out to a place and they say they perform an investigation. I have a big problem with this because I don't consider it an investigation. Let me set it up for you, okay? Here's what they do. Ghost hunters go out and they set up their DVR cameras with probably like four, six, eight, maybe ten cameras all going into one monitor so they can sit at their table in their folding chair and watch everything going on in the house or the building. They set up microphones with recording devices. They set up digital recorders. They set up their meters, their K2 meters, their EMF meters, um, their ghost boxes, which are fucking stupid, their, uh, their, their shadow nets, which are, it's a green laser, that's it, it's a green laser grid, that's what a shadow net is, I apparently learned that in Gettysburg a couple weeks ago, and we're going to talk about that in a different episode, anyway, they set up all this shit, and they wait, and wait, and wait for something to happen, they do their EVP sessions, where they ask questions, and say, hey, you know what, is anybody here, can you tell me your name, and they wait, they wait and wait and wait and wait. This is not investigating. This is more like a stakeout. That's what they're doing. I see all these teams that split up. They go to different places. They sit for a half hour, maybe 45 minutes, waiting for something to happen. Then they switch places. They go somewhere else, this and that. This reminds me of watching uh, like, like dramas, uh, police dramas where FBI agents are in the, the apartment across the street. They're watching the mob uh, work out of their pizza shop and do all kinds of drug deals and shit like that. And they have video cameras set up. There's audio bugs inside the pizza shop so they can catch everything that's being said. They're watching everybody that's coming in and out of the shop. They're um, pulling records of, of what's going on in, it, in, in the shop. All kinds of shit. This is a stakeout. That's exactly what they're doing. It's stakeout. When you investigate somewhere, when, when you go to a house that has specific claims, because they have a ghost, according to them they have a ghost or ghosts, you collect the claims, which means there's footsteps in this hallway. This door closes by itself. This microwave oven apparently turns on by itself. These are all ghostly claims that the, the homeowner might give you. So, what are you going to do? What's the best thing to do? I don't know, go there and set up video cameras and wait for something to happen? I mean, that's more thrill-seeking. That's waiting for something to happen. If a murder happens, if a bank robbery happens, and the police are sent out to investigate the crime, what do you think they're going to do? You think they're going to go, oh, well, there was a murder that happened here in this hallway? Let's set up a video camera over here and one over here, and I'll put my EMF detector right here, and we'll wait and see if it happens again. Fuck no. They're not going to fucking do that. That's, that's stupid. That's not investigating. What they're going to do is they're going to look through the alley. They're going to look for fingerprints. They're going to look for hair samples, skin samples, blood, a murder weapon. They're going to look for any surveillance cameras that might have been in there and review the footage that was already already taken. That's investigating. You take a specific claim and you investigate, investigate that claim to see if you can find out what caused it. That's a paranormal investigation. Not, not sitting there for 45 minutes and saying, hey, is there a ghost here? Ooh, what's that noise? Ooh. I saw a shadow. I think I saw a shadow. What was that? Did you see that? Did you? That's the bullshit that goes on with your ghost investigations. And it's not. But you know what? Honestly, I don't blame ghost hunters altogether. I, I blame some of you because some of you should know better because you claim on your websites and your Facebook that you know you have 20 plus years experience and. You know what you're doing better than anyone else. Blah, blah, blah. Bullshit, bullshit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I blame TV shows such as Ghost Hunters and Paranormal State and Ghost Adventures 
and I don't know stupid other fucking shows because they're all stupid. The ghost you know hunting teams watch the TV shows, they follow their websites, and they do what they do. Other teams, other ghost hunting teams, watch the ghost hunting teams that watch the shows and do what they do. So it's a vicious circle. Everyone's doing the same shit. There's a few out there that actually are smart enough to figure out, hey, this doesn't work. All we're getting is bullshit. We're going to stop. We're going to do something different. But the bottom line is, when you go out and say you're doing a ghost investigation, you're not. That's it, plain and simple. You are not doing an investigation. If you want to do an investigation, here's how you do it. You go out to the place. You interview all the eyewitnesses. And don't consider that 100% accurate because eyewitness testimony sucks ass. It really does. It's all it's all perspective and what they believe and embellish and, and all this shit. Don't take it at face value. Just interview them. Take the story for what it is. It's a story. Anyway, so you take every claim. Say you have a door that closes on its own. You have a window that opens on its own. You have... Um, a certain room on the third floor that people hear voices. Okay, you take them three claims right there. What you do is you list everything possible that you can think of that will cause that. Say, like, a, let's start with the door closing. What could cause that? Um, the door couldn't be level. You know, maybe it's off, the hinges are, are loose. Uh, vibration from the house. Maybe the door slams, there's a slight vibration, the hinges are bad, It's it closes on its own because it is, isn't is level. What else? In, this, in spring, summertime, you guys have all experienced it, I'm sure. You open a window somewhere in the house, you open a door, you come in, the door closes by itself because of the air pressure in the house. These are three very plausible, natural explanations for what's going on. And those should be looked into first. Take a level with you. Instead of taking a K2 meter, take a fucking level. Take it with you, put it on the door, see if it's level. Check all the windows. People might tell you, hey, you know what? There's no open windows, and there's no broken windows in this place. It's all sealed up tight. And you walk around a simple tour of the place, and you'll find out that there's broken windows here and there, and there's gaping holes or an entire window is gone, creating air pressure um, changes from the outside coming in. They might have a plastic bag over it and you can see the plastic bag move. All this shit is what you should consider first before thinking, it must be a ghost. I should set up some cameras. Okay? So, basic, basic idea, the bottom line is that ghost investigations are not about going out and sitting for hours and hours at night with the lights off, with all kinds of gadgets that most of the time you don't know how to use, and waiting for something to happen. A ghost investigation, a paranormal investigation, is checking out the claims that have already been made and finding the answers to them.